Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will talk about very popular hub and spoke model of airlines. So that is not only airlines model. We have various models, various transport, network and routes concept in logistic, in logistic operations. Okay, but you can understand that what we are talking about going to talk in this video as you can see the picture we have some routes that are made on the world map on the world on this globe okay as you can see so we are here going to talk about networks and routes we are going to talk about transportation logistics okay so first of all what is a network and what is a route route is single link between two nodes okay a and b that is single single route okay so this is single single network between two like we have an airline route we have railroad route we have rail route we have road route okay then we have a network that is this point is connected to this point this point is also connected to this point this point is also connected to this point this point okay so that becomes a network there are number of points there are number of points in a system these points will be called nodes we call them nodes okay so there are a number of nodes that are connecting connected to each other that will become a network and a route is simple one route within a network one connecting point of two places within a larger system okay we have these concepts of direct point to point and indirect route network like we have here from los angeles here we have los los angeles to denver one direct link you can see there is point to point direct link and we have an indirect route network through phonics then we can say there is a route by a phonics we are going to phonics from los angeles then going to denver so this is a simple map of uh, of the united states where we can learn the concept of route and network okay and this is whole network in whole network we have one simple route this route this route and we have direct point from one point to another direct point and we have two indirect points through las vegas through phonix one route is through las vegas this is indirect route one route is through phonix we have number of indirect routes we have one route from kansas to denver one route from salt lake city to denver one route from san francisco to denver one route from seattle to denver in washington here we have washington seattle one route from kansas as you can see so there are number of routes the routes are basically the indirect points routes are basically two points that are connected and indirect route network is where there is no direct link and direct link is between los angeles and denver we have one direct link and number of indirect route links through san francisco through seattle through salt lake city through phoenix through las vegas okay through that is it through las vegas through salt city salt lake city then these are indirect route networks we have one concept of centrifugal and centripetal we we must have studied in we all have studied in physics in 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 schools that there's on a hilly area we have roads like this curvy roads okay where we have this centripetal force that will keep you into the road okay then we have centrifugal force we have studied we have one some idea of centrifugal and centripetal so this is same which is used in deciding these routes in logistic to 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 generate a model to decide a model to create a model of logistic we use these forces centrifugal is basically we go away from the center and centripetal is we remain connected to the center here you are not required to visit this place to go to this place but in this case to go to this point you have to come to this place then go so this is centripetal we are we are we are keeping ourselves to a circle we are forming a circle we have a center point that is keeping all the points connected okay so we have to go to this place we have to must to any point we want to go we will have to cross this central point but in this case every place has two net two points and we are not required to visit this place we can go through this point we can go through this point okay so it is not keeping it 
in circular in circle we are moving outward we are creating a network that is that is alt that is going outward that is not keeping itself to center that is not keeping it itself to a circle that is centrifugal and that is centripetal now talking about point to point and hub and spoke these are two models in logistic hub and spoke is largely used in airlines okay and point to point these are two models as we can see we have one point we have second point we are going point to point we are going this point to this point this point to this point this point to this point but in hub and spoke we have a central hub we have a central hub where we are going first we want to go to any place we have to go to this hub then we take another route we have this central hub to which all the points are connected so that is hub and spoke model and that is point to point model now hub and spoke model is widely accepted in airlines because it is it is cost efficient it is economies of scale we need less investment in this model and we have a improved network efficiency and it is more efficient it is not resilient but it is not resilient this hub and spoke model is of course cost effective we don't to need to develop so many routes as you can see there are so many routes so, so many cost so much cost is involved to to make these routes but in hub and spoke model we have less cost that is required to 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 create this model to create this logistic model but in but hub and spoke model is only limited in its property of resilient it is not very resilient like other models other models this model is efficient this model is cost effective this model is very good economically in maintenance the cost is low but it is not resilient that is if one node breaks whole system disrupts here we have the concept of resilience and efficient now one model is efficient this model is efficient we have a central central hub okay to which all the routes are nodes are connected okay we only need to make this this point we only need to invest on these four links okay we only need to invest on these four links so it is efficient it is not efficient we are developing this route also we are developing this route investing on this route investing on this route so there's extra cost involved okay but it is resilient if a central hub fails this hub fails okay we can still access this point through this route we can still access point this through this route so that is the concept of resiliency which is which is not there in this hub and spoke model okay which is not there in this centripetal model of hub and spoke it, it is not resilient if one more node breaks we lose we lose connect to that road node if this route this node connect fails this route node disrupts we fail this whole model fails so that is efficiency and resilience hub and spoke model is very much efficient but not resilient this is the concept of point to point and hub and spoke model total cost involved in this hub and spoke model is just 5850 but in this case it is 15000 that is the difference we can see the distance we have to keep each and every route functional which we need to invest in each and every route we need to have more number of airlines okay like here we need to have more number of aircrafts if we want to go we have this hub in panama canal and we have this this hub in gibraltar okay we have this hub in suez canal this hub okay we i'm not able to read it i will just show you there's one point delhi there's one point Abu Dhabi, UAE. Okay, there, there is U uh, Abu Dhabi. So it is hub, one hub, and there is one point in New York. Okay, we can say New York. So we have, we want to go to Delhi from. We have one flight that connects from Dubai to New York. This is central hub. This is Dubai is central hub. Now to Dubai, we have one flight from Delhi. we have one flight from jabkor we have one flight from australia we have one flight from jakarta in indonesia we have one flight from shanghai we have one flight from Mos moscow we have one flight from karachi we have one flight from 
from from Abu Dhabi like we have this UA Abu Dhabi we have one flight from Cape Town we have one flight from Johannesburg we have one flight from Nigeria okay so there are a number of hub spokes number of spokes to this central hub now all the operations are scheduled like this that these flights will be prior this, these flights will be landing early after these flights being landed one flight one aircraft will move from this point to new york and in new york also we will have one flight to from new york to seattle to los angeles to las vegas to to florida to miami to orlando okay to lima okay so we have we will have so many flights to caribbeans to to rio de janeiro to alaska so we will have number of spokes this way we will need only small aircrafts so there will be small aircrafts running on these spokes these routes and one large aircraft that will be running on this central hub route from dubai to new york and all the operations will be scheduled as such that all these flights are landed after that this flight this flight okay take off and this lands after it landing this these small spokes as i said will take off so that is the concept of hub and spoke model which is more efficient which is more you know economies of scale which is more cost effective which will need less aircrafts which will need less fuel okay so that is the concept of hub and spoke model in airlines we have different network structures we have centralized network structure we have one central route to which all the routes are connected to so it has power central hub has some power so this is centralized some is some are decentralized in this also we have one point but it doesn't have whole freedom other points also have some some connectivity equal connectivity and this is distributed so there's so many points and they are distributed equal connectivity we can say to every point we have equal number of connectivity that is distributed network okay so here it is central point is highest accessible point but other points also has some connectivity to them but here other points do not enjoy any connectivity they have to go to central point so that is centralized network so these are different network structure what is the route what is hub and airlines most popular hub and spoke model okay so these are hub and spoke model we have dubai and new york you will always remember this example this is new york and this is dubai we have number of flights connected to dubai that will land then this flight from dubai to new york take off then from new york number of flights these are small small flights they will take off so that is concept of hub and spoke model in airlines i hope you like this video i hope you understand hub and spoke model keep watching our videos keep supporting us thank you have a great day